Introduction to 3D Printing, Lecture 1, Joe Cerrone, Part 2. CNC machines versus 3D printing. So what you see here is a Haas mini mill, and we have one of these at the Oakton campus. And CNC machines are traditional manufacturing type, type devices. You put a piece of metal in the vise, and you program the cutting path for the tools. And as the tool moves, it cuts and removes the part. So if we look at this YouTube video, You can see that there's a machine tool cutting a, this is probably aluminum, and it's cutting the aluminum block. The block is held within a vise, and as it's cutting, it typically will have some coolant that'll allow it to cut quicker. And the machine runs on what's called G codes, which are the same codes that run our 3D printers and our laser cutters and this would be considered a traditional manufacturing technique where the part would be cut from an existing piece of metal. So as we look at these CNC machines, um, again, they start with a, a block of raw material and they cut that. Um, Laser cutters do the, do the same thing. It's more of a, a flat material, though, where it doesn't go up into the z-axis when we start working with those. CNC machines have been around for a long time. They, they were invented in the 40s, and essentially they run on this G-code language, which we'll talk about. It's the same type of language that we'll use uh, that run the toolpaths on laser cutters and 3D printers. As we talk about computer files or digital manufacturing, this is kind of the new way to manufacture and prototype things. And so we start off with these CAD files. And then we can save these CAD files as an STL file or a stereolithography file. As we look at these different types of digital manufacturing devices, um, 3D printers um, take time and so typically you know they put it down put down the material layer by layer and it's going to take somewhere between an hour to four hours to build something depending on how big they are sometimes we'll run them overnight laser cutters are very quick they'll run on a two-dimensional XY path and um, the reason I had to stop the first video was because when I played the laser video it uh, it messed up my microphone, so I, I'm, I'm avoiding playing that in this video, but you can click on the slide and you can see how the laser cutter operates. And then CNC machines uh, work on either 2D or 3D parts. Some of them are very fast, some of them are, are, are not that fast. It depends on the complexity of the part. The materials that you can use in, in these different types of production equipment Plastics, primarily in 3D printer. Um, some of the higher end ones now are using metal. For laser cutters, we can use wood, cardboard, plastic. Um, it basically goes through and just cuts through uh, a tool path. And then our CNC, they're primarily metal, um, essentially, but you do wood and plastic in them as well, uh, depending on your material cost, because metal is quite expensive. The books that we'll be using for the course will be um, the book uh, that we're talking about right now, which is the Introduction to 3D Printing and, and Prototyping. And then we'll do these projects from this 3D printing textbook. And we've done a bunch of them. We've done this tape dispenser. We've done this stationary holder. The way that the author went through and put these together is really great. But in the beginning, some of the projects are a little more difficult from a computer modeling standpoint. 
So we'll be doing um, a number of these projects. You're welcome to do all of them. But from a standpoint of how we'll teach the course, um, we'll start off with some real basic projects and then build on that. And students are welcome to use SOLIDWORKS if they have knowledge of SOLIDWORKS instead of the AutoCAD. But we're going to start off with AutoCAD because we've already taught the course and we've created a number of these things like this tape dispenser and this stationary holder using AutoCAD. If we take a look at the textbook, I'm going to kind of bail out of this real quick and I'm going to go here to content. And if we look at our 3D printing projects book, The way that the author has got these set up is basically he's modeling them and showing the basic geometries so that you can use just about any CAD software for it. Draw two circles, create a line tangent to those, use a revolve, use a cut. The chess set, in my opinion, could have been modeled with revolves rather than this type of a situation so I thought that was a little bit early for some of the projects but some of the other projects are terrific um, and you and, and you can go through and work these projects and print them for the class but we will go and walk you through them as far as how we'll do these projects and how we'll be able to model them things like a, a chip clip these are these are great and then we can go through and we can also go through and brand them or engrave our initials into them so there's a number of really good projects and students are encouraged to go through take a look at the projects in the book if you're if you're good with CAD if you've had CAD before you can work on these projects in do them as bonus outside of the ones that we're doing as labs and we can print those for you but overall what we liked about this was that it was a very basic set of objects that we can print and then we can go through different types of techniques for going through and building these different projects so take a look at the book order it on Amazon we've got uh, some preliminary uh, PDFs for you to look at while the book is being uh, sent to you. So as we look at the projects, our first project will be to design and print and we'll use AutoCAD to create a name tag or just a, a basic model part. And so when we look at lab one, there's a video and it will show you how to go through, download the file, open it and to use the extrude command to go ahead and to create a computer model. We also have a, a lab 1B which kind of works the same way. We've got three components to it. We've got a, a triangular shaped gear and then the gear holder and then when you turn these gears they will mesh and um, you can use these different CAD modeling techniques to build those. And then once we build those models we'll go into our Dremel software and I'll create these demonstration videos which will go through how we set up the parts to be printed and this actually goes through and tells us what resolution, what materials we're using, um, different things like infill and um, like this blue line that goes around the outside we can have like a base so that they can stick to the palette that's a quick summary on how we're going to be running the class. We look forward to working with you, and that completes the end of this video.